Oh, oh, hey everybody, JC here to give you guys my review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode 14. And I told you guys, I told you guys specifically, I told you guys that I was going to do a review. Now, I know this video is late, you know, a couple days late. Well, that's kind of a bit of an understatement, but yeah, I know it's late, but whatever. Um, I was thinking about reviewing the other episodes I missed, but I'm like, nah, I'm just going to focus on this one right here. So... Yeah, um, I caught up with the I caught up with the episodes I uh, missed the last three, and this episode I'd say pretty much it was okay. I enjoyed some parts of it, but pretty much you know it was enjoyable for the most part. I really liked the part where Michelangelo was trying to compromise between Leo and Raph when they were arguing. He was saying, "Hey, I should be the leader," and they were looking at him like, "What?" And speaking of Raph, he was kind of a dick. In this episode, I mean, he's usually a dick, but he's mostly, you know, a lovable dick. In this episode, we meet Karai. Now, I know who Karai is. I recognize that name from like the 2003 TV series. Um, my mind's like a little iffy about her. Like, I remember her name, but I don't know if she had like a relationship with Leo in the original 2003 series. But I'm not so sure about that. But in this episode. She and Leo, you know, they kind of, you know, hit it off. <laughs> Which is kind of weird when you think about because Donnie has April, Leo and Karai have this thing going on, but Mikey and Raph, they're like, they need someone, really. <laughs> Especially Raph, man, because, you know, he can be a dick at times. I also like how Snakeweed came back because we haven't seen Snakeweed since, like, what, like, the pilot episode? It's been a while. It really has been a while. And... You can tell they're really having fun getting away with lost over Snake Week because you like, one of the things about Snake Week is like whenever the turtles fight him and he gets like one of his you know appendages cut off and it's like this purple oozy blood coming out. It's like Ugh, you know like okay well he's a plant so we can show that on TV but if it was a human it was like oh no the soccer moms would have a field day. You know I almost feel sorry for Snake Week. I mean he's been through a lot of things. I mean he was a normal guy. You know, had his normal mundane life, and then all of a sudden he got mutated into this, like this weed plant creature, and now he has to turn humans into fertilizer to eat them. Yeah, that much that must really suck. <laughs> One of the main things of this episode that I really found interesting was how Leo was questioning his position as the leader. You know, how he had to carry this burden. And how he does not, and how he's conflicted with carrying this, you know, responsibility of protecting his brothers, not also leading the team. You know, it's really, it's really something I really like how they focus on that in this episode. You know, showing his struggle as a leader, and I think the past shows also, also focused on that whole leader, you know, confliction Leo usually has, and you know, the whole time he and Raph butt heads on who should be the leader. You know, and you know. And this episode also for Raph, it also, you know, showed him, you know, that being a leader isn't all fun and games, you know, it's really difficult. Oh, and I forget to mention that Karai is the Shredder's daughter. I think I forgot to mention that. How pissed will the Shredder be when he sees that his daughter is having this quote unquote relationship with his arch enemy? Hmm, that is going to be. That's gonna be interesting. I sense some really major plot points being settled down with this episode. Overall, very enjoyable episode. You know, I like some of the fight scenes between Leo and Karai, and pretty much it was just okay. It was an okay episode. You know, stuff I really enjoy. You know, I think there's gonna be a lot of plot points with Karai being settled in in the next couple episodes, but I'm interested to see where that heads. And TMNT reviews are back. Dojo reviews will be coming soon, but I have to get off my lazy ass because you know I got a lot of things to handle. Real world burden. I know how Leo feels, man. When you have that burden on your shoulder, I, I know how he feels. So, yeah. This has been JC. Keep on keeping on. I'll catch you guys again next time. Please don't unsub. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm just fucking. Unsub if you want to. Unsub. I don't care. Unsub. Go. Go ahead.
Boy, that escalated pretty quickly. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Peace.